Hey guys, this is Lori Lou back with you guys again with my highly requested brow tint video. This is my client Marissa. We're going to go ahead and tint her brows. Now, first thing I'm going to do is clean the brows. You have to make sure that the brows are clean. I'm using the I Adore Brow Shampoo, which I will link everything below that I'm using. And I'm using a spoolie brush just to scrub out those brows, just to ensure that I am cleaning those brows completely. Next, I'm going to apply the I Adore Brow Scrub, and I'm using a lip wand to do that. You can use an exfoliation brush with it. I just couldn't find mine at the moment. And I'm just making sure I'm brushing that through, making sure to get any dead skin off of the brow area. So it's so important to clean the brows because you get a better um, long-lasting tint wear or henna. The stain is so much better when the brows are clean. So now I go ahead and do my outline. I do the three-point method. I find the start, the arch, and the tail, and I do freehand the outline. Um, not really beginner-friendly when it comes to the outline, but you can do whatever outline method that you choose to do. I do an outline before I clean up any brows. I just find it easier for me to get um, a even arch, in a sense, as well as I'm not over waxing or plucking or even razoring the brows. Now I'm going to wax, I'm going to pluck as well as trim the hair and i'm going to use a razor i do have a video on how i wax brows um i'll leave a link for that below as well um but it's a pretty simple method um just do whatever method that works for you when it comes to cleaning the brows and the wax that i'm using is a tea tree um wax i got from a trade show i really hate it actually it doesn't work well <laughs> Okay, now we get to the fun spot. Okay, so now we're going to tint the brows. How I apply this brow tint is I apply it like a pomade. This is the I Adore Brow Tint, and this is in um, brown, black, and natural mix. I have put more brown, black than natural because she has jet black hair. Now, if she had brown hair, then I'll put more natural, then I'll put brown black. So you mix it based off of the hair color of the client. I do recommend you get every color because you can mix around and play with all the shades. Um, just because you just never know who's going to sit in your chair, what color their hair is going to be, all that great stuff. Now, it's so easy to use this brow tint. You're literally applying it like a pomade. I apply the product wherever I don't want product to be. I use a Q-tip with the remover. The remover is your friend. It Do not buy the brow tint without buying a remover unless you feel like you have the most steadiest hand. Um, it will save your life and give you cleaner lines. Now, how I get the ombre is I take a regular spoolie and I brush that area up. It's only going to take whatever the skin did not absorb. Now, if you don't let it sit long enough to absorb it, then it may seem like it's going away. If you have a client that skin doesn't absorb fast, just apply it, let it sit for a little bit, then brush it up. But it's always going to go lighter because it's going to take whatever the skin did not absorb. So the spoolie, I use that mainly in the front just to get um, that ombre effect. And then to make the tail darker, I just go in with a second layer. I do no more than two to three layers of the tint. Now, why do I do that? Because I apply the tint and I let my clients go, go excuse me. 
I tell them, wash around it, let it naturally fade on its own because it will fade. They're going to take a bath. They're going to go to sleep. It's going to rub off. I have never had anyone tell me that they have a reaction to this tent. Even people who purchase it have never told me anything. And I do ask because I talk to a lot of people who purchase. Um, but I've never had a client tell me they reacted. Uh, now, if someone says, oh, it didn't last, that's because they were washing their face, baby. Because I can wash my face and tint my brows, and this will last me a week. Um, and we all know tint lasts on the skin for maybe two days, maybe three. But it lasts on the hair for up to six weeks. Same concept with this. And if they don't have hair, the bald eagles, all they got is skin. So what you what you gonna say? Oh, I don't see it. But they will technically see it a little bit, and they'll be like, Oh, I don't see it because it's no longer on the skin. After I tint the brows, I put concealer on the bottom and the top. The concealer I use is the LA Girl Pro Concealer. This just gives it a cleaner look. As you guys can see, the brows look like you just penciled them in. Like you took a pencil and you filled in her brows. Like it gives a makeup look. This brow tint is not natural. Like it, there's no brow tint or no henna looks natural in my opinion. Not if you want it to last. Now, if you don't want it to last, then, yeah, you can put it really thin. And then they're going to call you in two days and say it didn't last. So, you know, it's a give or take with this. Um, just be honest with your clients when it comes to this product. And you won't get those complaints. I tell people that all the time. Now I'm applying the brow top coat. This can be used on tint, henna, makeup brows. It allows the client's brows to last longer. I start at the end and work my way up because the product is still on there. It gets wet when I put the top coat, but it will dry and seal in those brows and they will get those two weeks. I have clients that get it all the time. Look at our brows. Amazing. Now you guys subscribe. I'm going to leave everything that I use below. Make sure y'all comment, like this video and share it. And until next time, bye guys.